is it possible that Jesus repented every day too? Now watch the challenge here. The challenge is, which version of repent do you apply? Because if you apply a non-Jewish version, that is ghastly. But in the Jewish version, does Jesus meet this criteria? Watch. Does Jesus stand up every day and say, Lord, today I dedicate myself to you. Hmm. Today I want to focus on you. And once I've interacted with a lot of people in a day, I just need to turn myself away from the people, not because I don't love them, but because I need to reconnect with you again. And Doesn't recharge, it say yeah. constantly that, that Jesus goes away to a quiet, solitary place to pray? Yes. What's he doing? He's effectively repenting. Now, again, the challenge is what the English word has come to mean in terms of making a sinner's prayer versus the Jewish version, which is this is a lifestyle. This is like a regenerating. This is a rebooting. This is a... Mm-hmm. I come into contact with all these outside influences. And here's the thing. We are sponges, whether we want to be or not. So anything we come into contact with leaves residue on us. Yes. So repentance is like scrubbing that residue off and saying, I don't want it to settle inside of me. So I'm going to constantly wash off, which is why a mikvah, the, the baptism pool, is such a regular element of Jewish life. You yeah. can't become so holy that you literally not in touch with anything here, that you can't. But you can constantly turn back. You can constantly review where am I at. I, I think of where Paul says that you may be made whole and holy. He's referring there to being fully integrated. And for a human being to be fully integrated, that lower self, the seat of the will, right, the the, uh, the the what is what we would probably call the flesh in the text. Yep. Needs to be integrated. You can't get rid of him. You can't kill him without killing yourself. So you have to be. He has to be tamed, subdued, and then brought, brought into it in an appropriate sense with with it with healthy boundaries. Because it's not it's not a part of you that's like an abomination. It's just a part of you that is very, very strong-willed and very, very reactive, right. very emotional, and very lacking in judgment or concern for the ways of God. And so the, exactly. the higher self, the conscious mind, needs to be, needs to be in the driver's seat. When people yes. in traditional churches take communion, what are they normally encouraged to do? They're taking the Pray. body of well, Christ. Be- <laughs> before you do it, think about where you act consider your you see so that's that's not a once off that's as often as they are doing that according to their tradition they are effectively doing teshuva so it's a again i'm going to say it's a lifestyle 